love that. If you haven't seen a great showman, it'll bring even the, the hardest of persons to tears. Uh, Lex, A, thank you for singing one of my favourite songs. Absolutely. Brilliant. B, thank you for saying, singing it so well. Thank you. And C, tell us why you decided to pick that song, because that's a, that's a difficult song. It's quite a large range in that. Well, um, that song was one of the first songs I ever really started to actually vocally work on. Okay. And I've been training myself with that song for honestly ever since the movie came out. So I was like, I think I'm good at that one, so I might try that one. It's a very good reason to do it, yeah, yeah. yeah. And are you more of a musical fan, or would you be more kind of contemporary pop? What are we thinking? I'm an actor, so okay. I do musical theater mainly, but contemporary, I'm also kind of branched on now. So if you could perform in any musical, obviously we've got some of the jokes that have been in musicals themselves, what would you like to, uh, to take part in? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, Every now and again I ask one good question, so it's good. Yeah, I don't know, I like a lot of different musicals. I think maybe Sweeney Todd. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Great one, great one. Well listen Lex, I think you're going to have a great time in musical theatre, so you seem to be born for it. Well yeah. done, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Lex Hubbard! Woo! Okay, alright, so we are moving on very quickly. Just a quick update, we have one more show on the international stage at the end of this. So we have a very, very wonderful pan performance from um, a wonderful Caribbean performance. If you haven't seen the pan musicals, it's, it's something you need to see. And just a heads up, we have a brand new show at the CNE this year. It's happening over the food building at 10.15 at night. So some of you might not be here, but if you are, it is a full drone show. It's very, very fun to watch. It's completely free. The best part about the CNE is when it's free, so check that out. Okay, we are going to move on to our next performance, and it's the first of our dance performance. Uh, we're going to ask them about the album afterwards, but for now, we're going to welcome them to the stage. Put your hands together for Kelly and Hayley Hoff. Woo! Very entertaining and also very petrifying. I hate clowns, so thank you for that. Um, really great performance. Um, I'm guessing your sisters. Okay, thank God, because you look very similar. Uh, there would have been strange questions otherwise. Who wants to talk? Okay, all right. Why don't you tell us about you know what about this performance and why the clown thing and why dancing with your sister, all that good stuff. Okay, um, so originally this dance was actually my sister's solo a long time ago, and then. 
we re-choreographed it and made it into like a fun little duet where two clowns basically come to life and join and have fun in crazy town. And um, it's a really fun dance. And it's a lot of fun working together as sisters. So yeah. Okay, great answer. And a question for you. If you were a real life clown and you came to like a crazy town, what would you do? Um, I'd probably look for you first. <laughs> okay, well, judges, that is zero on the school pass. Yeah, no, that's fair. I would definitely do the same. Listen, guys, you were very talented. Like, the, the control you had on the lift and everything was, was brilliant. And you were, for me at least, perfectly in sync. So, I don't think it's that fast. It doesn't really matter. Ladies and gentlemen, that was amazing. Give it up for Kelly and Hayley Hart. Okay, we're going to keep moving in a minute, but we are going to make the next of our VIP celebrity judges. So please put your hands together for Tom Oliver! Okay, so a little about Tom. He's a high demand as a voice production educator and adjudicator. Voice concepts in his private studio in Hamilton have prepared vocal artists for continued studies in performance and professional auditions for over three decades. Currently, along with this project, Tom is collaborating with artists in the Charlottetown Festivals. Johnny and Jude, Stratford Festival's Spad Lot, and Rent, and Mervis Productions 6. Tom is always thrilled to be part of the Rising Star Adjudication team, which is amazing to know. And Tom, listen, thank you as ever for coming down and joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Oliver! Woo! Okay, we've got a lot of acts to see, so we're going to keep them moving. We're going to move on to our next vocalist. So please, let's make a lot of noise for Ella Levin Ridland. <laughs> Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm through with playing in my room of someone else's game. To live for seconds. To live to go back to sleep. It's time to trust.
Anna. So good they named you twice. Well done. How was that? Yeah. Is it because you're on the stage with me? Yeah. We know that's not true. Um, very powerful song. Very big, big song. Tell us why you picked that song. Um, I picked that song because, first of all, I love musicals. Um, and second of all, I thought that it was just such a good song because it explored an emotional journey of a main character going through a million different emotions and overcoming her obstacles. Is that something that you feel that you can relate to quite a lot? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great reason to pick a song. So what would the dream be, Ella? You can do anything in the future. Obviously, you can't be the senior and see that is taken. Uh, anything else? Um, well, I would love to be a performer on Broadway. More a neurosurgeon, but more, mostly Broadway. <laughs> Why one? Why not a neurosurgeon by day and a cat on Broadway by night? I'd watch that. I'd watch that. Well, listen, I thought it was a brilliant performance. Um, I'm glad you had a good time and you always had a smile on your face, which is the main thing. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ella Levin Rublin. <laughs> it is a strong, strong strong talent list today, so it's going to be very difficult for the judges. Talking of judges, see what I just did there? <laughs>